Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and in today's video I kind of just want to discuss my kind of thoughts on the game right now, and I'm not going to quit. I don't think I probably ever will quit this game, but I, I just got to say some stuff that's on my mind that, uh, you know, it's making me, making me a little upset, we'll say. But I have main, mainly three things I want to say I talked about today, and main first thing is updates and communication uh it's been not the best for either of these in the past mainly years it's not it's not been the best i will say good job on the recent big stuff like the demo change and the boost meter like seeing your teammates boost meter that is good that is that's a thumbs up for me but in an overall general sense it's not been great and the communication twitter whatever you want to call it any other platform it's not the best and i might be a little more on the lenient side of updates but there's there's gotta be some stuff i don't really care at this point ask lethemir to do all of it just pay him like the stuff he brings to the game the creative side to it one one guy can only do so much for the game without some sort of help from the dev team, the people that build this game. Uh, I don't really care, but like do something. Ask him to do something. I'm happy that he made an appearance on RLCS. If you guys didn't see it, he had a map and had uh, I think it was JNAP's Foe, Juicy, and Redosin. I'll go through his map, dribbling map. That was sick. That, I was so happy to see that. Because that shows that there is sign of life from the team. Whether it's the East, whether it's Blast and like the Esports side. Or if it is actually the Psionics Epic side. It'd be honestly better if it was that side than the Blast Esports side. But like they, they just gotta do something with it. He's made so many maps so many creative things. To spice up the game and we have seen little to none of it in the actual game another one uh, yeah another one another thing i want to bring up is kind of the loss of passion not from me you know i i just hit a milestone just hit ssl for the first time i'm gonna keep on grinding and i'm gonna keep on trying to get better at the game so there's no loss of passion for me i'm just speaking in the main sense you know, there's been, you only really see high amount of people every new season, right? Season 16 just came out, and there's there's been a lot of people on. Like, there's been a lot of insta queues and a lot of fast-finding matches, right? But as soon as it hits mid-season or late-season, you start, numbers kind of go down. And, you know, I love this game a lot, obviously, I'm not trying to be a creator for it and it's just sad to see them you know not do anything with it like as i said with the updates and the communication there hasn't been a lot of communication there's just been sudden oh yeah this is dropping and oh this is here by the way like there wasn't really hype for season rewards as there used to be or there wasn't really any whoa like i remember when starbase art came out if anyone remembers that like the original uh whatever hexagon pentagon field i remember there was so much hype because it was like oh the space and we're going to space rocket league's going to space i remember when that was so hyped up in the season rewards and you know ranked and uh, it was so cool it was so like man i want to play the game now it's just and don't get me wrong they did a really good job on the map this season driftwood Phew, one of, i think it's in my top five at least but, like, other than that, there's been, like, nothing. Like, they do the tre teaser trailers, of course, but it's, like, you know, here's another here's another rocket pass. We're on our 16th rocket pass. Like, me personally, I haven't bought any of them because I haven't seen anything worth buying, right? Oh, you get XP boost. Uh, that's great. <laughs> like, I was just going to show how much I play the game, but it's there's hasn't been i haven't seen that much passion 
from the dev team as much as I used to, or like any part, any collaborative part on their end. Like, of course, shout out to the uh, designers, like the, you know, the people that make this stuff, design this stuff. Like, the stuff looks good most of the time. A lot of items are, ugh. <laughs> but it's just so sad to see, like, from my perspective, I see the loss of passion from the team and whether that's because Epic fired everyone that was passionate or whatever it was, right? I'm not going to say anything. But we need those people back. We need the people that wanted to make the game fun. And, you know, you can only keep a game going for as long as you can. Like, that's why I believe there was a CS2 besides all the other graphical and everything updates. Like, there needed to be another CS, right? At least from my perspective. I don't play that much CS, so I'm not that big on it. But from my understanding, there needed to be another CS couldn't just be CSGO for the rest of time. Like, I'm not gonna say there should be a Rocket League 2, because we don't need a Rocket League 2, just like we didn't need an Overwatch 2. But, we need things in the game, more things in the game. We can't just pull, like, a, a Cyberpunk and say, this is gonna be the best, biggest game ever, and then drop lag, garbage, bugs. We can't just be doing that, right? Can't, can't just be a new AAA game and have it just barely work and say, oh, perfect game, buy our game. Can't just say that. But, I don't know, I, I just see a, a loss of you know, passion towards the game from the dev side, right? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But, it, that's just what I see, right? I gotta call out what I see, and it's just disheartening, right? But, another thing I wanted to touch on just quickly is a good thing that they've done. And that it would be the 1v1 tournament. Like. Let me rephrase that. The ones tournament in esports now. Like RLCS. How there's going to be a ones tournament. That is sick. And I'm so happy that they've done that. Because that gives. Like. New pathways for people to. Join esports. And like maybe they don't make the threes team. Because they're just not as good in threes. As they are in ones. But. You know, it gives options, like, we can now see a once tournament in formal format, right? Instead of the the really cool, but, like, uh, what's it called? Champions Road or something like that, recent? That was cool. I played in the twos tournament. If you guys saw that stream, uh, you know what happens. We made day two, but didn't go that much further. But, uh, yeah, it's just... There's just a lack of everything i see ever everywhere else esports side they're doing their best and i'm happy that they've made this change and it, it kind of brings it relights that spark for me in the esports side. i've i've been following esports since i i buy power won the very first one like i've been following it for that long if any of you remember those guys but it's it's just insane where this game has come to and like come from like i will say there is a lot of good things that have come to this game not the item shop the item shop is horrible but and like all the paid thing that's another th uh, that's just that it's just sad seeing the monetization loss of trading right i'm not gonna say i'm oh but like, I'm not going to turn a blind eye towards the things that they took away and what's wrong. But it's... It's just... You know, there is good things in the game that have come from... I guess, loss. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what they're cooking up behind the, the screen, but... It's not looking good, and that's all I'll say. And another thing, third thing that I'll bring up mainly for this video is the hit reg and the servers if you know what hit reg is hit hit registration uh like in a cod or a, like a shooter game pretty much but in rocket league right so that's you hitting the ball or you demoing someone or at least trying to uh and it not working like you going through the ball in replays and all that stuff uh the game is a little rough in that aspect 
where it's very it's like how Bacchus mod works i believe i could be wrong and all you uh server and comp sci majors tell me what it actually is but from my understanding it's just player side like what happens on my screen could also just not happen at all on the server side which is why you have things like going through the ball and and like not connecting when you're inside someone's car and you're still not demoing them right if you've watched any of my streams any of my videos you know that i've gone through plenty of people supersonic supersonic and flipping and i still don't demo them but that's just like the tick rate of the server and like how the servers work and you know now that we've ported two epic servers like the fortnite servers uh it's it's not gotten any better like i i feel like the epic servers were a lot better than the or the psionic servers were a lot better than the fortnite servers because now there's us central that is half central half still east coast because there's still stuff up in Ohio, uh, Illinois, uh, like pretty much east, but still considered central. Of course, there's Texas, or Texas servers and all that, but it, it like it. I don't feel like it works, right? I I'm US West. I play on West servers. If I go to any other server that isn't West, the game just feels bad and broken. Right? If you play on e-servers and you go to West or Central, it's the same thing. EU, Mina, whatever. Wherever you're from, wherever you play on. If you don't play on your own servers, the game feels whack. Right? Whether you're going through someone or not hitting the ball, it goes through you, whatever. It, it shouldn't be that bad, right? Like, I've played a lot of other games where I hop on different servers and the game still plays relatively the same. Like, you might miss here and there, but it's just lag in the connection to the server, not how the server works, right? And that's, that's all I'll say for that. Like, we gotta be better. <laughs> Plain and simple, we gotta be better. And that kind of straight up wraps up what I want to touch on today. Like, the big things that I think are missing from the game. And as I said, updates and communication are my number one and should be focused on the most right the reason i put like hit registration and servers low is because i feel like that's such an easier fix compared to updates and communication right everything could be easily fixed if they put their minds to it right and that is the thing i'm worried about the most because there's some sort of I don't, I don't know, chokehold on, like, the developers by higher-ups or whatever, like, whatever it may be, Mr. Mr. Epic, John Epic, uh, it feels like they have a grip to, like, make sure that this game dies. I, I don't know what it is, but if you're listening to me, John Epic, please don't kill my game. It, it's the best game that's ever existed, in my opinion. Uh, please don't kill my game. <laughs> oh, nice and sweet. Please, please, please don't kill my game. Uh, I really have no other words except for I really, really do hope for, hope for the best for this game. It It is truly one of a kind and it's sad to see it being treated this way. It, it deserves a lot more than what it's getting. Pros deserve more of a payout. I mean, there's people that have, like, and it, it, there's people that I know that have, like, thousands more hours than I do, and they're still nowhere near pro level. Or people that have less hours than me or higher rank, right? It doesn't really matter in the frame of the game where you're at. We all want the best for this game, and... You know, the people in power tend to not see that. They tend to see the dollar sign and they see, oh, but what if we put Lightning McQueen in the game? Oh, but what if we put, what if we put a Nash car in the game? What if we put an F1 car in the game? Like, 
there's people I know that buy those, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you've bought maybe one or two. But I'm not calling a boycott, but you're not going to see me buy any any item ever. <laughs> if it's free, I'll get it, but if it's not, no. And that's, that's honestly how I think until they do something that warrants me financially supporting the game, uh, I don't think I'll ever buy anything from this game again. Now, don't clip that. Don't, don't hold that against me because I'll probably fall there somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, it, yet again, just more passion, please fix the servers communication updates it i could go on and on about things i don't find good about the game but i could also go on and on about the things i love about the game so it's it's a weird position and as a creator you always try to tough through it and just do your best but i, I had to say something man i it's a weird spot <laughs> to be honest but i hope you guys did enjoy i hope you guys have something to say in the comments uh let me know what you think I'd be happy to respond. Uh, and yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.